Hi there guys, I'm Renee. I'm the owner and artist behind Chicly Reclaim Decor. And on my tutorial this month for Pink Tour Paint, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create this beautiful raised stencil design with their embossing medium, as well as sharing with you how you can use their new line of chalk style paint to paint velvet and other fabric to freshen it up and give it a new look. So if that is something that you're interested in learning, stick around guys, cause that's what we're going over today. Okay, so to start things off, we are gonna be using Pink Couture's embossing medium to add a raised stencil design to the fronts of these drawers. Pink Couture's embossing medium is an acrylic plaster that has a smooth yet thick consistency. And we are gonna be using this golden leaf stencil by Chow Bella. These drawer fronts have a curve to them, so to make stenciling easy, I'm gonna use a repositionable tacky spray on the back of my stencil. Make sure to spray outside or in a well-ventilated area. After you wait a few minutes, you can see the back has become tacky or has a sticky backing now to it, which is gonna make it that much easier for me to do this raised stencil design. I'm gonna make sure that my drawers are all lined up, and then I'm going to place my stencil over top. You will need something to spread or apply this embossing medium over top. Some people like to use a palette knife. I just like to use a gloved hand. I love this embossing medium because it has a nice thick texture, doesn't crack when it dries, and it doesn't shrink. So it makes for a great raised stencil design. As you can see, I'm just smoothing the texture over the stencil, making sure to get into all of these grooves. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to wipe back any extra that is on top. Then carefully pull off the stencil starting from one end. To clean off the embossing medium from the edges here, I'm going to simply take a wet Q-tip and just run it along the lip of these jewelry box drawers. And here's a peek at that design once it has had time to dry. Next up, I'm gonna be using Paint Couture's Premium Plus 2-in-1 Bonding and Blocking Primer in the color white to prime this piece to be painted. Now that we have a little bit of color on there, you can really see this beautiful raised stencil design that we've created. I painted this piece with Paint Couture's absolutely fabulous all-in-one new chalk style paint. And what I did is I created a custom color. I used two ounces of opal green and two ounces of evergreen to create this stunning green color. And as you can see, I added that same raised stencil design to the sides as well. To make this raised stencil design stand out, I'm going to be hand painting it with Paint Couture's Antique Gold. This is part of their Luxe Metallic Collection, and it comes in a variety of size, all the way up to 32 ounces. Their metallic paint line is the best metallic paint that I have used. I absolutely love the coverage. As you can see, this is just with one coat of their metallic paint. So as you can see, a little goes a long ways and it's vibrant and beautiful. And here's a peek at the finished look. And like I said, this was only hand painting it with one coat of paint. Next up, I'm gonna be showing you how you can get this green velvet look by using Paint Couture's new chalk style paint to dye this velvet fabric. I am gonna be using one part paint, so one tablespoon paint, and three parts water, so three tablespoons water. And this is what it will look like when your paint wash is all mixed together. After removing all of the hardware, I am going to take a paintbrush and I am simply going to work this paint wash into the fabric 
making sure to go in lots of different directions so that way this wash can get well worked into the fibers of this velvet. I'm going in circles and back and forth to do so. And these are the results after only going over the velvet with one paint wash. You can go over the velvet as many times to darken the color as much as you want. Just make sure to use a fine grit sandpaper to sand down in between. Now I'm gonna share with you how I seal and bring back the softness to the velvet itself. I take a clear wax and I simply buff it in to the velvet lining. This makes it nice and smooth, as well as helping to seal the paint into the velvet lining. For the sides of this piece, I added the same texture design, and I'm gonna use this iFlex Wood Mold 2169 to create an even more dimensional look. After I figure out where I want this iFlex Wood Mold to be placed, I'm going to mark off the areas where I need to cut this mold to fit. iFlex wood molds are wood composites that become flexible when heated. You can use either a heat gun or a blow dryer to do so. I am heating this mold up so it's easier for me to cut. Then I'm gonna take a fine grit sandpaper and sand that edge nice and smooth. And this is what it looked like when I was all done cutting it to fit. After painting with that custom mixed color, I'm gonna accent the details with Pink Couture's Antique Gold, which is part of their Luxe Metallic collection. To accent these details, we're gonna be using one of my favorite techniques, dry brushing. Dry brushing is a technique where you have very little paint on your brush. As you can see, I'm wiping the majority of the paint that is on my paintbrush off before I gently start brushing over top of this iFlex wood mold. You can clearly see why this is my absolute favorite technique for bringing out the carved wooden details in these iFlex wood molds. To glue down my molds, I like to use tight bond quick and thick. I use a paintbrush to spread a thin, even layer on the back of this mold. Once I have my mold in place, I'm going to heat this mold back up so that way I can really contour it over that raised stencil design. It also helps ensure that your mold is tightly bonded to your surface. And then I come back afterwards taking a damp paintbrush to wipe off any of the excess glue. And here's a peek at the finished design. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Renee. I'm the owner and artist behind Chicly Reclaim Decor. Please be sure to follow me for more furniture flips as well as painting tips. And definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more painting tutorials with Paint Couture Paint.